Y'all better hold on because I got to take you for a ride. In most of our black communities, our women are strong. We have any strong women here today? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Please listen to me. And in most of our cultures, it has always been the female that has kind of carried the culture. Got that? They are the role models. Man, look at me. You're not the role models. We are the relationship models. Please listen to me honestly. The women are the role models. And because they are strong, they have a tendency to intimidate their partner. Who is getting quiet? <laughs> They have a tendency to intimidate a partner because if a man cannot handle a strong woman, he becomes intimidated. Now ladies, listen to me on this. If you do not understand your strength, it is very easy for you to turn your husband into your son. True. True. Why is quiet in here? We're going to get into the word, but I'm going to lay the foundation. I'm going to say this again. If you do not understand your strength, it's very easy for you to turn your husband into your son. Hmm. How does that work? Well, don't worry about it. I'll bring it down for you later. But it's imperative that you understand this generation today Men have become what is called, as I was saying, sharing it there, men have become what is called feminized. We have a generation of men who are carrying more nurturing and communicative characteristics. And so they cannot handle strong intimidation. And what happens is, if you intimidate your man too much, he would either try to abuse you to put you in place, or he would develop multi-relationships outside of your relationship to find someone to nurture him. Got that? Right there. Because there's a lot of men who have a lot of women on the side. Because if his wife doesn't nurture him, he will find someone who will. So then, if a black man marries a black woman, the relationship cannot be cooperative. It has to be what is called collaborative. What did I just say? Collaborative. Why are y'all dropping your heads on me? Y'all write that little stuff down. This is, this is good stuff here. But I'm going to get into that a little later. So let's, let's look at our theme text. I'm going to read just one theme text in, in the book of Ephesians, the King James Version. 